Okay, that was a little uncalled for. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 darkest moments in children's movies. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at more dark moments from various children's films and ranking them based on their disturbing nature. Flicks that were either directly marketed to kids or those that can be entertaining for young viewers, regardless of whether they were made for older audiences, will be considered. Also, if you don't see a film you thought should be here, be sure to check out our first list on the topic. Number 10. E.T.'s Death E.T. the Extraterrestrial E.T. is consistently a contender for the greatest movie of all time. It's a wonderful sci-fi flick full of rich imagination, timeless characters, and scenes that perfectly demonstrate the emotional power of cinema. Oh, God! Elia. What? Elia. Case in point, E.T.'s near death. No matter how many times we watch this movie, we cringe in anticipation of the infamous scene, as we know that we won't be able to help ourselves from bawling. Leave him alone, I can take care of him. Don't get us wrong. It's a fantastic moment, but it's nevertheless a very distressing one that can prove too much for adult viewers, let alone children who think that E.T. has just died. Number 9. The Bear Attack – The Fox and the Hound While this is one way to teach kids about nature and the food chain, so many elements work in conjunction to make the bear attack absolutely petrifying for young audiences. <laughs> There's the fact that the bear is as big as a mountain and has black fur and demonic red eyes. We also see Amos' foot getting snagged in his own trap, and Copper and Todd being battered around like playthings, prompting the very real possibility of significant injury and or death. <laughs> then there's the sinister music that continuously plays throughout, which could easily scare a young viewer. This terrifying scene was no joke for 80s kids. Come on, Copper. Get out of the way. Number 8. Coraline's Other Parents – Coraline Coraline is quite creepy and distressing in general, but nothing beats the sheer horror that is Coraline's other parents. This scene begins with Coraline walking in on her humming mother, who has her back uncomfortably turned to the camera. When she turns around, an ominous note of music plays while we see that she has black buttons for eyes. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. We then see Coraline's other father, who is manipulated by a freaky piano into playing a song. My father can't play piano. No need to. This piano plays me. The combination of the unsettling stop-motion imagery, the spooky music, and the concept of imposter parents makes this scene relatively upsetting for children and adults alike. Number 7. The Nothing – The Never-Ending Story The never-ending story is one giant acid trip of a movie, and one that proves the saying they don't make them like this anymore. One of the most intriguing and ultimately horrifying concepts of the epic fantasy is the nothing. A hole? A hole would be something. No, it was nothing. And it got bigger and bigger. The nothing is essentially an ominous dark cloud that represents destruction, cynicism, and hopelessness. It's a mysterious and undefined entity that erases everything it touches and compels those within its vicinity to jump in and meet their unknowable end. What is the nothing? It's the emptiness that's left. It is like a despair destroying this world. If the nothing is a little too irrational or conceptual for young kids to understand, then Artax's death in the swamp is sure to make them cower in distress. Number 6. Skeksis – The Dark Crystal the Dark Crystal is one of those movies where you can't help wondering what the filmmakers were inhaling when they made it. The Skeksis are disgusting and horrifying creatures, resembling humanoids with vulture heads. Because why not? <laughs> they are also rotting and have screechy, vultry voices that have the ability to really cement themselves into the nightmares of children. Scenes like the Skeksis' dinner are masterpieces in imagination and technicality, but we don't think kids care about that. They're too busy covering their eyes in terror. 
<laughs> Number five, electroshock treatment. Return to Oz. Seriously, what was with the 80s? Well, I don't like it, makes me nervous. It is without a doubt the holy grail of petrifying children's movies. Return to Oz served as an unofficial sequel of sorts to The Wizard of Oz. While the initial response from critics and audiences was mixed, we can all agree that this movie is just straight up weird. One particularly disturbing scene sees a young Dorothy almost being treated with electroshock therapy. Would you like to go for a ride, Dorothy? It's messed up. The building tension, foreboding music, and dreary set combine to make this a supremely uncomfortable viewing experience, especially for children who may not take too kindly to the concept of a fellow child's brain being shocked with electricity. Ready? Yes, Doctor. Number 4. The Clown Dream – The Brave Little Toaster Man, even the animated movies of the 80s were messed up. <sighs> Was this decade of film meant to see just how far we could take a child's mind before it breaks? This freaky scene begins with particularly dark smoke billowing from Toaster, before it forms a hand and grabs Rob. However, that's just the appetizer. What follows is pure nightmarish pandemonium, literally, as a giant clown rises up and diabolically laughs as massive forks rain from the sky and nearly impale Toaster. It serves as a nightmare within the movie, but we wouldn't be surprised if this nightmare transferred over to the children watching in horror. <laughs> Number 3. Cartoon Eyeballs – Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Is there an 80s kid alive today who wasn't absolutely petrified by Judge Doom? <laughs> Just saying the name probably conjures up dreadful memories that you've long since tried to bury. Obviously, the most horrific scene involving Doom is the one where he rises up after being steamrolled into a flat slab of fat and skin. He then inflates himself until his eyeballs fall out, and turns around to reveal petrifying cartoon eyes that turn into daggers. Just seeing that makes us question why anyone thought it was a good idea to show this to children. And now there's a generation of people who all share the same terrible memory. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Number 2. Night on Bald Mountain – Fantasia Fantasia is without a doubt one of Disney's most experimental and divisive movies. It's also one of their most horrific. Case in point, the hellish Night on Bald Mountain. The segment may be a masterpiece in animation and a brilliant melding of visuals and music, but holy crap, can it be too much for the youngins? concerns the devilish Chernabog, as he summons evil spirits to the titular Bald Mountain. The content matter is enough to distress young viewers, but the grotesque imagery and hair-raising music ensure that every child skip this one on their Fantasia rewatches. Number 1. The Horned King – The Black Cauldron and for number one, we're going back to the 80s, because why wouldn't we? Welcome, your majesty. <laughs> we're just celebrating our success. Oh, I, I mean your success. The Black Cauldron is another divisive Disney film, as it bombed at the box office and was heavily criticized for its perturbing content matter. In fact, it was the very first Disney animated film to receive a PG rating. Soon the Black Cauldron will be mine. The Horned King is probably responsible, because damn. This Nazgul-looking guy is a cannibal for many a frightened child, and he is without a doubt Disney's most metal villain. Everything about him just screams awesome character, from his appearance, to his menacing voice, to his diabolical personality. How long I have thirsted to be a god among mortals. Unfortunately, kids don't appreciate the art behind his character. They just see pure nightmare fuel. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.